everyone, wherever you are. Um, in this presentation, I will reflect on some practical experiences of introducing cultural heritage to children and youth. The structure of the presentation is as follows. Okay. What are the aspects of cultural heritage that can be tackled or incorporated in the built environment education? Let's first identify between the history or the stories of the past, um, which are reminders of the events and incidents that are based on facts and evidences, of course, as well as some legends. And between the heritage, which is a thing that is transmitted or acquired um, from our forefathers and has passed from our previous generations. They are unique and significant to our community and they define um, the local culture, hence our identity. So history is the past as a whole and heritage is a reminder of the past. These are the aspects of B to introduce to children. We start by giving the kids a paper with a table letting them express what is heritage, also categorize and give examples. What is a monument? Give example for this monument. What about the surrounding area that surrounds the monument? Um, what about the old crafts in this area? Um, what are the accessories, the fashion, the stories, the dictums, the sayings, the, the riddles, the games, uh, we also talk of food and we try to remind uh, them with the special food recipes prepared by our grannies at home making ready homemade jams, juices, um, special cookies for special festivities. And what about the festivities themselves? What happens in the festivities? Or what happened in the past? Um, what were the songs? What were the dances? Um, um, what was the role of each member of the family? And we compare between then and now, and we draw and trigger associated memories. And by the end of this round table discussions, can, kids can then conclude um, on their own that heritage is a variety of treasured objects and treasured qualities passed down from previous generations uh, or our own predecessors and that remind us with our very own. And just like this we keep toggling between the tangible and the intangible um, from home to family to neighborhood to district to city to the region. Why the region? Stressing the fact that history can never be studied without geography. Talking of geography, the map is inevitable to be discussed. In our case, it's Egypt. The map can be 2D or 3D according to the age group of the children involved in this session. The start is an identification of the different geographical features, revealing the microclimate, the flora, the fauna, the agricultural products, the um, um, domestic crafts, the, the small industries, the available vernacular building material, uh, the interventions uh, people uh, create to respond to their local climate, uh, how do they